Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about uh, one uh, blockchain and one use case in particular which is the uh, basic attention token and I'm going to use for that in fact their main app that they created uh, which is uh, the Brave uh, Brother. Uh, before starting, I have to say that this is probably one of the best examples that we can find in order to introduce blockchain to digital marketers because blockchain is kind of hard to understand because it deals uh, with uh, transactions. Uh, so to say it's kind of hard from the outside to think about how to apply it to a given field of activity. By chance, uh, the basic attention token is a blockchain which applied to online advertising, which is a field of activity uh, that uh, digital marketers uh, know. So. Uh, let's explain first the issue that we have in the current market, is that we have main players such as Google, Amazon, Facebook and Microsoft, which are serving ads uh, through uh, their different uh, networks, so either their own websites or their partner uh, websites. And the issue that we have is that uh, consumers, uh, so to say you and I, are not getting anything uh, out of it. There's no transparency in terms of shares, uh, in terms of how the money uh, is flowing. Is the publisher, the one hosting the ads, getting 90% of uh, the commission? Or is it Google or is it another player? We don't know. Um, well, the consumer is uh, exposed to the ads, whereas he doesn't have the possibility to say yes or no. Uh, we, we don't know really much about how the companies such as Google, Facebook and others are using the money afterwards, they're using it for a good purpose or not, we don't know that. And uh, of course it's slowing down the websites and the app because it's embedding some uh, tracking code. And here come, uh, thanks to the blockchain, one cryptocurrency named the basic attention token. So the basic attention token, just say like this, uh, won't give you any much information. What is uh, more important to know is uh, one of his main app which has been developed, which is the Brave Web Browser, which is the one that I'm currently browsing this page with. The Brave uh, Web Browser has been uh, created by one guy named Brendan H, uh, which is uh, one of the co-founder of uh, the Mozilla Firefox project and as well uh, the uh, creator of the JavaScript programming language. And he got the idea uh, with other people, of course, to create a browser which is named Brave, uh, which is in fact uh, doing several things. In fact, it's uh, blocking ads and, and trackers by default and allow you to see ads which are more ethical. And this is where the bad cryptocurrency is coming into play because when you use this given uh, browser, the one that you can see over here, this browser, which is in fact based on uh, Chromium, so it's an open source uh, project. What it's uh, doing is that it's, following, it's um, solving the following issues. So you are getting a revenue from the ads which are uh, exposed to you. So in fact, as a consumer, every time that you are seeing some ads coming from the Brave browser, you are getting money out of it. So to say uh, here, for example, uh, those are the current revenues that I got for today. You see approximately four cents. That's not much, but at least I got those. Uh, that's one thing that the Brave browser is doing. Then you have more uh, transparency because all the transactions which are flowing, so to say the money that you are getting out of those ads and as well how the people who are making, organization who are making advertisement on Brave are in fact all recorded within the blockchain so you can in fact uh, i don't know how to do that but you have here the blockchain um, explorer so to say so you know in fact who received the money by who it has been sent and how the money was uh, flowing so um, if you analyze that you can probably guess uh, how much revenue you get and how much uh, the brave company got out of the ads uh, the ads which will be displayed to you are a bit different uh, than what you are used to see because those are browser notifications, those are not ads which are embedded within the, the website. And um, it's as well give you the possibility to give money uh, to a publisher, so to say. Uh, here, for example, I added uh, the Brave um, 
let's say the brave feature on my Twitter profile. And as a result, if I click over here, I can decide uh, to pay myself. So let's imagine, for example, that uh, one find that one of my posts, for example, have been, let's say, brave in publishing one information and that they would like to give me some money. They could definitely just click over here and send me money um, through the bad uh, cryptocurrency on, on my account. Um, so that's uh, that's something that, that we can do with uh, this cryptocurrency. So in practice, um, what does it consist in? Is that you go on Brave.com, you download the software, which is a Brave browser, and uh, you install it. Okay, so it looks like uh, what we have up here. That's that's a traditional browser, let's say. Uh, once you do so, well, you will see that in fact uh, the first page that you're gonna see is in fact an ad. So in fact there is an organization behind who paid in order to be displayed over here and it's already one ad which has been displayed to which will be the result of uh, some money sent on your account over here if you have a wallet for brave which will somehow be the equivalent of one cent of dollar uh, th that's the first thing then uh, what is great with this uh, browser is that you can set over here within the settings how you would like to be paid so this is what i set uh, over here so i decided that I would like to get like uh, five ads per hour and I in fact getting those ads and of course I could decide to, to send this money to third party players and so on and so forth. Um, this is how an ad look like uh, within the Brave browser. So it's a notification. So you get one organization, just send its name over here, the advertisement that they would like to add. And as well, uh, when you click on it, you are redirected to uh, the, um, let's say, to the given organization who wanted to make an ad. Um, if you are interested in making some uh, smart uh, calculation, it's about uh, $0.5 a day that you can expect just for your browsing experience. Okay. Um, as an advertiser, what you may be interested in, uh, how can I make money out of my website or how can I put some advertisement on the Brave uh, network. So uh, if you are a content creator, you just need to go on their websites, uh, the one over here. And uh, sorry for that, I just need to go uh, one step before. And then you just go, I uh, need to go over here as content creators. Um, so here, in fact, you are just raising your hand in order to say, hey, I have a website, I have different contents, I want to make money out of those. And then once you do so, uh, you will get something like, like this. So you will get a dashboard on which uh, you get some uh, um, information that you can embed on uh, your server. So most of the time it's just a file to upload in order to say, hey, I'm the owner of this given website. So it's exactly like uh, for the one who know, for example, the Google Search Console is exactly the same concept. You need to show that you are the owner of those different uh, services. You just need to click over here on add a channel. Uh, mention that you have a website, for example, and then it's giving you a file to upload on your server. And then once it's done, uh, then if someone has the Brave browser and visiting your website, he may be served uh, to an ad over here and that's where uh, the money is going to is gonna flow. So for example, um, here I added it on my website and as you can see when I visited it, uh, sometimes I'm getting this ad, so it means that the owner of this website, so to say myself, is going to be paid by uh, the Brave uh, network for an ad which has been pushed out by Proton Main. So it's, it's really straightforward. Um, then the next thing that you need to, to know is about, okay, how can I in fact send my ad through the Brave network? And here comes in fact the, uh, the bad news is that uh, the Brave network is currently only available for uh, the company who has at least $10,000 to spend a month. So unfortunately, uh, one cannot uh, test their ad system in order to use the bad currency that they got out of uh, their browsing experience. Um, not as well that if you look into their uh, commercial uh, brochure, you will see that it's uh, really similar to what one can see with um, Google Ads or other system. It's just that you need to send them, in fact, your brand name, your call to action, and your click through. Uh, URL in order to have the ads served. However, my main concern is that currently uh, they are not taking uh, bad cryptocurrency as a payment mean, which is kind of strange because normally it should be kind of a circular economy. Um, 
And that's why I was surprised to see that when you are trying to register yourself as an advertiser, you are seeing a Google form, right? It's actually what they are trying to build here is definitely a Google Ads killer. So I will mostly see, in fact, currently the Brave Network uh, more for uh, advertiser who would like to have another way to publish some ads on the web. And I think that they are uh, currently struggling into getting more money in order to develop faster and to be available for small and medium companies. But I have to say that this clearly is uh, a nice technology in order to show to Google, to Facebook, Microsoft and all the other ones that they need to move that actually they cannot continue to let a uh, consumer, let's say, uh, not getting paid for uh, giving up their privacy. And this is really where uh, this blockchain uh, comes into play. Hope you enjoyed this video.